Well, hello, hello, Young and the Restless Daily Recap fans. Today's Daily Recap is for Wednesday, October the 11th, 2023. Wednesday, October the 11th. Well, Kyle got all caught up with sleeping with Audra again. He fell asleep, forgot to wake up and go home so he could be, you know, at home when Harrison wakes up. So he was worried. He's like, oh my goodness, he, I've never done that before. I like to be home when my son gets up. Um, and Audra's like, well, and he goes, but it's nice to see you in the morning, you know, first thing in the morning. Um, he says, but I got to go. I, oh my goodness, I got to get out of here. And she's like, well, you have a house full of people. Your son is fine. Like, it, it's no big deal that you're not there. And Kyle, the look on his face was kind of like, well, spoken of like a non-parent, right? Harrison is used to, it used to be Kyle and Summer being there in the morning, then at least Kyle being there. And so Audra's like, you know, a few mornings won't hurt him. And so... Kyle was like, look, I've got to go. This was great. This was nice, but see ya, right? So he goes rushing in the house and Diane is there getting ready, you know, to go to work. And he goes, Harrison, she goes, you missed him. He's already off to school. He was looking for you. He was actually, you know, a little disappointed that you weren't there, right? And he goes, oh man, I... I over, you know, I, I, I didn't wake up. I slept, you know, I'll make it up to the little guy. Right. And so Diane now proceeds to go all in on Kyle regarding Audra. Good. Cause you know, Diane don't like her, which I like. I like that fact. And Kyle didn't really want to talk about it, but she's saying her piece anyway. You know, I don't care if you want to talk about it or not. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. So then we have um, Danny. Remember, he followed her. He saw her meeting with Jack at Society when she was supposed to be going to work. And he's questioning her about it. And she's like, are you following me? He goes, well, I felt something was strange. You had a strange kind of conversation with Tucker at the coffee house. And you're supposed to be going to work and then you're here and you're with Jack Abbott, Abbott having a very interesting conversation. You know, uh, I would hate to see, Phyllis, you getting caught up with either of them. You know, he said, because you're on the right path. And, you know, he in his mind, he's like, I don't want them using you. Because he still don't know about what she did, you know, her part. He doesn't know nothing that she's doing. He's just wanting her to stay on the right path, you know, to get her life in order. So he's like, you've just come so far, Phyllis. I believe in you. He's giving her another Danny, Danny pep talk. And Daniel comes up and Daniel kind of hears part of the end of the conversation. And he's like, wait, what? What's going on? And Phyllis is looking like Danny, like, oh, my God, shut up, you know. But there was like, oh, nothing, nothing. And um, she goes, I got to get to work. Because Daniel was like, you know, well, look, mom, you hope, yeah, you are doing all right, right? <laughs> you know? So she pretty much weasels out of that, you know, because she doesn't even want to hear it. But uh, she's told Jack, you know, about this listening device. So Jack goes home. And he looks at that bonsai plant and Diane's like, hey, did Phyllis tell you anything? He's like, and she's like, what? And Kyle is there and he's like, well, what's going on, dad? And he goes, like, you know, be quiet. He's picking it up and he's looking and he's looking and he takes out his cell phone and he's pointing his camera. Oh, I forgot to show. Actually, I forgot to show the picture. I forgot to show my pictures. I wanted to show the picture of... That's what's missing, the picture of Danny talking to Phyllis, because I do have some pictures today, folks. I'm getting there, getting there. And then um, Jack 
He's got his cell phone, the flashlight on. He's looking in the bonsai plant and he sees the listening device. So he, he tells him, he stands up because they're like, what are you? And he takes it and he puts it outside carefully. You know, he didn't just put it so Tucker could hear like, hey, whoa, what's happening? Is somebody moving the plant, right? He shuts the door quietly. He comes back in the living room and he tells them, Phyllis told me she went through Tucker's records and he purchased a listening device. And he said, I just found it in this bonsai plant. He's been listening. Oh, Diane's like, oh, well, so much for, you know, wanting to make peace. And Jack said, I didn't trust it, you know, Tim and, at all, right? And so oh, he's Jack being Jack and Kyle's like, oh my goodness, I can't believe it. And she goes, well, get rid of it, right? And he goes, you know what? Tucker doesn't know we're onto him. He goes, if Tucker doesn't know we're onto him, and Tucker doesn't know. He said, we could use this to our advantage. And I'm thinking, oh, okay. Now you're going to feed Tucker some misinformation. See, they're going to feed him some mis... And, and Tucker's thinking he's getting the real deal, which is good. I mean, I actually hope they do it. And I actually hope they can pull it off, right? Because Tucker does need some tables turned on him. You know, he's just been let down, but no real tables turned on Tucker. Uh, seriously, right? At all. So um, we shall see what's going to happen with that. But you know what? Here's the deal. Jack has never really been successful in his plots and his plans, you know. So I don't know. Somebody's going to slip up. See, the listening device is going to end up biting them. You know, I would be getting rid of it. And now there's no way Tucker could come give us anything. No gifts, no strange anything, no clocks, you know, no potted plants, no nothing. But we'll see. We'll see how that's going to go. That's going to make for some interesting, interesting soap writing. Um, let's see. Oh, and one thing about what Phyllis was talking to, to Danny, you know, she, the way he's talking, she goes, oh, that bug, because she's still in Portugal with Paul. That bug better not say nothing negative to my granddaughter. And Danny says, she has a name, Phyllis, and it's Christine. You know that. And so the way he's talking is she goes, wait, wait, wait. You don't think, I mean, you're not still harboring feelings for the bug. <laughs> and he goes, you know, in your heart. And he goes, well, yeah. Just like Phyllis. I have feelings for you in my heart. It's been decades. You know, we share a son. You have a special place in my heart. That's why I want you to be okay and stay on the right path. Christine, definitely, there's, I have feelings for her in my heart too. And she's like, oh, oh, oh. And, but then he, he quickly changes the conversation and then Daniel comes up and Phyllis snaps out of it because, you know, Phyllis can go down a, a path, a, a pipe uh, in the raw, in the speed of the of light, right? Phyllis can just go crazy. So um, anyway, that pretty much is all that happened. Nothing too much else happened. It was just the long, boring conversations. Diane, Kyle, you know, oh, Boring, boring conversations back and forth with Abby and Devon in the park. Then Lily joins them in the park and they're all trying to figure out what's Mamie's angle because she's, you know, she is, and she's going about it kind of shyster. Like, why is she doing it this way so secretively? And, De and Devon says, there is a connection between Mamie and Tucker. I know there is. I can tell by the look that they gave each other. So he's uneasy and Devon is starting to decide, you know what, I think I might have to cut ties with my father. He goes, I, I've tried not to 
I don't want to do it, but I, I really, really think I just might have to cut ties with him because I'm, I just don't know. It's like this. I'm waiting for another shoe to drop. And he's starting to feel that way with Mamie. It's like there's, uh, there's a true ulterior motive that they don't know about yet. So that pretty much is it uh, for today's daily recap of The Young and the Restless.